November 1st, everybody. Happy November. Wow. Um, it's, these are, this is a great month. It's a great, great month of uh, attitude for gratitude for a lot of people. Obviously, you have Thanksgiving United States and people here have a tendency to be a little bit more reflective, sometimes sentimental in, in a good way, uh, looking back on some of the, the things that have gone really well for themselves. And one of the interesting things um, I find during this time of the year is that people start getting a little bit nicer, a little bit more flexible, a little bit more tolerant of people and their differences. Um, obviously, we have the election upon us here this upcoming week, um, November 3rd. And so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. And uh, I think for a lot of people, um, it's uh, politics is very emotionally charged. And ultimately, um, as I look at look at kind of work, it's trying to keep them in the right context and not allowing that to allowing that allow knowing that differences exist and allowing people to express those differences in healthy ways can be extremely impactful and productive. <clears throat> you don't want everybody thinking and viewing the world the same way, especially in your team or in business. So uh, this first week of November, uh, I'm gonna be hitting it hard on, on Monday, uh, changing up the team meeting to be able to make sure that we're focused a little bit more on um, them, them being able to um, drive drive the results. And um, so so looking forward to that wanted to be able to make sure that we're having some opportunity for them to voice, hey, what were some wins? What were some losses of last week? What were some learnings, opportunities? Have them participate, do some little record recognition, uh, revert back to the um, to the first, um, you know, to their why, right? What's their why? What's their goals for the quarter? And then after that, I want to be able to make sure that we're driving home um, how to master the art and science of the career. So the science being some of the technical stuff, the running illustrations, the software, the planning tools. Um, the other one, the art though, is how are we engaging with people from a marketing standpoint? What's that niche? And um, ultimately, um, how are they engaging uh, proactive listening? So should be a, a great week. Sherm's out. Hey there, everybody. Uh, leadership tip is as you help your team develop different skills, it's like learning how to use different tools. And once they're proficient, you gotta allow them, trust them to be able to utilize those new skills and those new talents. And so as a leader, one of the tough things that you have to be able to do is learn how to let go and let, uh, let go of control. Know that the job's gonna get done It'll hopefully get done in a better way, but it might get, take a little bit longer for them to accomplish than if you were to just take it over. Nothing can erode the trust of them learning a new skill with a different tool or a different talent if you eventually just take over. The moment that there seems there's any kind of problem or any kind of difficulty they're gonna face, they need to know that they need to, in order for them to be able to truly excel, they're gonna have to take it on themselves. Trims out. Hey there, everybody. Here, ready to vote for voting day. Let's go. Nice place here, huh? Fantastic. What a, what a beautiful location, huh? All right, there, everybody. Took a little bit of time. They had to find me in the system, but there we go. Voted actually on election day. Usually try to get in early, but had a fun time here. Thought I walked through this really cool. Uh, ballroom here. Hope you're all doing great. Happy election day, everybody. November 3rd, 2020 uh, of the United States. Uh, this is a big day. Be able to cast your vote and uh, be able to very grateful to be li living in a country of freedom where you have the opportunity to let your voice be heard. And so hopefully as you've gone throughout this, um, you're able to, with respect and love, appreciate other people's perspective, other people's opinions, and that understanding that those two um, opposing perspectives or multiple opposing perspectives um, are of value to each of us as we continue to grow and develop and to be able to see another person's point of uh, point of view um, and be able to truly listen to them is valuable. Too often, I think people say the phrase, uh, let's agree to, uh, to disagree, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll debate um, and try to convince the other person to see their own perspective, when in reality, it's healthy for us uh, to be able to have other people's perspectives and be able to hear and truly want to be able to seek first to understand, then to be understood. Sherm's out. 
Hey there, everybody. Hope you're doing great. Um, it is um, that time of the day to be able to reflect back on what went really well today um, as uh, from a coaching perspective, diving into the details, seeing where they're, uh, where the team um, individually, where they're at when it comes to their pipeline. It's crucial to be keeping track of, especially in the service uh, in a service based business, uh, as you're building a client base, what um, are you doing? Number one, from an activity standpoint to drive results. But the number two is where are those potential cases going to come from in the next 90 to 180 days? And if you're not keeping track of it, then it's going to be happening by hope and wishes and um, a lot of anxiety. Put reality to it by going after it with deliberate results, keeping track of it. We use Salesforce on our end. Um, when I was first starting out, it was an Excel spreadsheet. How are you keeping track? Turns out. Hey there, everybody. Uh, just leaving uh, Pioneer Chiropractic. Uh, try to see the chiropractor at least once a month. Uh, right now, I'm just doing acupuncture, but uh, when my back flared up uh, last month, I was able to see them about six weeks ago now, and it was really just due to, due to posture. Um, while I was kind of reaching over on the, on the dining room or on the kitchen table uh, as I'm working from home and um, giving some good exercises. Um, the acupuncture totally helps. It's great for me to feel like uh, my body gets a little more adjusted. I'm lucky in that I don't really have any serious elements that I'm dealing with, but, um, so grateful for that. It's able to have a couple of coaching calls before then. And, um, now, uh, head to the office, have a couple of coaching and then, uh, we'll do the, uh, biz talk with Sherman later. Hope you're all doing great. Let's go. All right. Ran my coaching there from, uh, the office. I had a great conversation, uh, team, she, uh, Millie, she's doing a phenomenal job, super proud of her, um, and uh, getting some recognition, some, she's being followed by one of the head uh, people at the corporate office, and getting some shout outs as well, and some emails for all of her hard work and her results, and so, great, uh, great coaching session today with her, uh, digging on some of the details, and um, now uh, headed to Biz Talk with Sherman, let's go. Can you hear everybody? Getting a little 44 ounces buckets. Hey there, everybody. Hope you're doing great. I was able to uh, speak on a panel discussion about uh, to the employee resource groups uh, in our home office and also a uh, multitude of other folks that decided to come and uh, participate. And one of the big things is talking about uh, diversity and inclusion and how can we do that in, in the field force. Um, and so one of the things that I talked about was, number one, as an organization, the reason why I found so much comfort with the current company that I'm at was based on the transparency they had in leadership. They cared more about what I accomplished. And then it just so happened that I was a specific uh, ethnicity or a specific culture, um, although I'm, I'm American, it's just that obviously I have a different ethnicity. And so um, that, that's one thing just to recognize is that all of us bring some different talents to the table. And then it just so happens that they're of a diver, diverse nature. The next one was um, how can get support from the organization? Number one um, that came to mind first is having bilingual uh, contents. That way you can participate in some of those organization, um, th some of those uh, communities that English isn't as easily understood with some of the complex financial topics as um, um, as you would typically see, uh, Spanish being really a big one here in the Houston marketplace. Um, the other one though, from the perspective is just being patient. So if I decide to join a, um, a specific organization, having the patience that six months, a year, it's gonna take to be able to get a around to those, uh, to those organizations and seeing that I'm a value and that I truly wanna help their community and help the people in their community uh, gain value. The last thing was um, after being patient, was to be able to make sure that they're allies, right? There's 4,500 employees uh, there in, um, <clears throat> in, in, the, in the corporate office, and they don't all need to turn over and all of a sudden become um, sales individuals. They want to, we have a selection process and we have a great opportunity here, but more, most importantly, it was how can we help them make, become allies with us as we try to um, attract more diverse talent to our organization, in terms out. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing great. Um, had a really good um, day yesterday. Got a lot accomplished. Packers won on Thursday night football, so that's super exciting. Um, heading to uh, Dean Middle School to have pick up my son's, what did he need? Uh, some kind of a physics lab kit. 
um, robotic slab kit, something like that. And um, got uh, marketing at 9, uh, then a 9.30, then a 10, an 11, 12, 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to be spending a decent chunk of time there on the old Zoom. Hope you're all doing great. It turns out. All right, everybody. Happy Friday morning. Let's get some donuts. All right, got some good Shipley donuts. Very courteous person there. It's nice to be able to ask people how they're doing. A smile. It goes a long way. Sherm's out.